Alola brought to us one of the most beloved features by fans since Mega Evolution, and that's of course the original variant Pokemon, which is when an old Pokemon receives some changes to the design to make it fit with the region it is on. Other than appearance, they also changed typing. Then, Pokemon Sword and Shield brought regional variants evolutions, which is basically giving an evolved form to a regional variant Pokemon. They gave one to Galarian Lightning, creating Obstagoon. I observed that there have been two normal and dark versions of the early rodents for Gen 1 and Gen 3, Rotata and Zigzagoon lines, but what about Gen 2? Furret Centred's evolution has recently become really famous in the media, so this line is a strong candidate for getting their own dark normal Hueso forms, aren't they? Let's start off with Centred, but there is a problem. There were no ferrets in Mesoamerica, but then I thought, well, they could be coming for another land, so there wasn't any problem at all then. Ferrets have mask-like patterns, which look like those cartoony burglar masks, so I decided to went that way. This also fits with the ferrets' behavior, because they like stealing stuff too. And this dark type centered came from a faraway region with the people who come to Huesa. Now, this centered form steals stuff from towns and take it to their trainers. You know how in regional forms most of the Pokemon get traced over the original artwork? I'm applying that in here because I didn't want it to change for it that much because it has become quite iconic now. Here it is, Huesan Fruit. This beloved Pokemon is a popular pet for people who move to Huesa. They use their tail to attach to hide places so they can steal stuff without being caught. These lines abilities are Runaway, because they are thieves, and Unburden, or Pickup, because they have to do with stealing stuff. So they fit well with this Pokemon. For the original evolution, I wanted it to look intimidating and greedy, also looking like a ferret, but without losing the elements from the evolutionary line. I made it more thief-like also. And here we have High Street, or Haystred, whatever you want to call him like, uh, from Heist and Ferret. It seems the love for protecting the things it steals help it to evolve, so it can put up a fight with other Pokemon that try to get his things, you know, he's really greedy. If I had noticed something in the last two main series games we were talking about, is that they all have Meowth variants. My theory is that that is going to continue through all regions. Since Meowth is a cat and cats are pretty much universal, they have different feats in different places. Also, there are lots of cat breeds. I think that is going to be his thing, you know? Meowth will be known as the Pokemon that has a regional variant in every game such as Eevee that has a lot of evolution. That is something I can totally see Game Freak doing, just to sell out this Pokemon and its forms even more. So following my theory, I figured, well, that means I should make a Meowth variant then. So I researched and I found out that cats were pretty much looked up by Mesoamerican people because they thought they were mystical and had some connection with the universe and stuff. And in the Pokemon universe, most cosmic things are given to the psychic type, so I made Hues and Meowth a psychic type. Similar to Galarian Zigzagoon, Hues and Meowth seem to be the oldest Meowth form. They seem to be lacking in any other region. 
The problem that grows in its head gives it psychic abilities, which can be rather telepathy or technician, but you can also find one with a hidden ability trace. The Aztec cat is some sort of a mythical animal. They are supposed to be extinct, but no one knows for sure if they really existed. They were big cats that acted mostly like dogs with humans, and they were worshipped. The legend says that the last cat died without reproducing, therefore they went extinct. These cats are described as fruitless animals, kind of like the Egyptian cat. Uh, that's why I gave them a pinkish purple color. Also, it is said that as the cats used to grow some fur on a tail to get it warm for the winter. They are actually like giant cats, they are big. I didn't want it to make another meow devolution like Perseker because Persian fits well in the role of the Aztec cat. Wesson is a monocyclic type. It is said that the fur on its tails will never grow back if it gets cut. They don't like breeding, that's why they are very rare. If winter comes and there is no fur on its tail, it will perish alongside the one who caught it. I went kinda um, mythical with this Pokemon, I don't know, kinda like Ninetales. So there we have some Western regional variants. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Of course, I'm gonna be doing more, so stay tuned. If there is a Pokemon you'd like to get regional variants, leave a suggestion in the comments down below. Ring the bell so you can get notified when the next video comes out and also subscribe. If you like these designs, don't forget to check out my Instagram account where I post every design in these videos. The link is there in the description down below, so you'll get there in no time. If you want to support the channel, share this with a friend. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Don't forget to check out my other videos for this region. I leave a card there, up there, right there. So yeah, bye.